Hello, Cosmos Explorers. Welcome back to Cosmosphere. What if I told you that Earth doesn't just have one moon? Not always, not exactly, and some of them we didn't even notice. They come and go. They don't stay long. But when they're here, they orbit us like ghosts in the sky. Welcome to the story of Earth's secret companions, the Mini Moons. A story of mystery, science, and discovery, and one that might just change the way you see our place in the universe. For most of human history, we've looked up at the sky and seen one moon, one bright light, one loyal traveler beside Earth, and we believed that was it. But space, as always, had other plans. In the 21st century, something strange started happening. Astronomers detected objects, tiny, rocky, temporarily orbiting Earth. Not satellites, not debris, but natural objects. And they weren't staying long. This is where the story begins. With a question no one thought to ask, can Earth have more than one moon? even for a moment. Let's get technical, but keep it simple. A mini-moon is what scientists call a temporarily captured object, TCO. It's a small asteroid, sometimes the size of a car, sometimes a house, that gets caught by Earth's gravity for a short time. They orbit us like a moon. They follow us. And then, just like that, they leave. Think of it as a dance, a brief waltz with Earth before they return to their journey around the Sun. There are also quasi-satellites, objects that stay near Earth but don't really orbit us. We'll talk about those too. But first, let's meet one of the most famous mini-moons ever seen. In February 2020, Astronomers spotted something strange, an object about the size of a compact car orbiting Earth. It wasn't space junk, it wasn't a satellite, it was 2020 CD3, Earth's newest mini-moon. It had arrived in 2018, stayed for about two years, and then, quietly, without warning, it left. It wasn't visible to the naked eye. But it was real, and it proved that Earth could capture these cosmic hitchhikers. But this wasn't the first time. Back in 2006, another object came close. Astronomers called it 2006 RH120. It was tiny, only about three meters wide. But for several months, it orbited Earth quietly, gracefully, before it left again. Since then, astronomers have kept watch. Because these events, they're rare. But they're happening more often than we thought. Mini moons are hard to spot. They're small, fast, and faint. Most of them are discovered using special sky surveys, like Pan Stars in Hawaii or Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona. These programs scan the sky night after night, tracking moving objects and filtering out the stars. It's like searching for a moth flying in front of a lighthouse from a thousand miles away. But it's working, and recently we've seen something incredible. In late 2024, a new object appeared. It was small, about 10 meters wide, and it was moving in a way that told astronomers this could be another mini-moon. It was named 2024 PT5, and for nearly two months it was briefly captured by Earth's gravity. It didn't stay long, but it was real, and it reminded scientists that the sky above us is full of surprises. This wasn't just an object. It was a visitor, and we were its host. These tiny visitors may hold ancient material from the early solar system. They could help us understand 
the formation of Earth, the history of impacts on the moon, and even how asteroids behave near our planet. Some mini-moons might be fragments from the moon itself, kicked out by impacts, then pulled back years later. Others might be from deep space, offering clues to life's building blocks. NASA and China are even planning missions to visit these objects, just like they did with asteroids Bennu and Ryugu. Should we be worried? Not really. Many moons are small. Most of them would burn up in our atmosphere if they ever fell to Earth. In fact, some already have, turning into bright fireballs that streak across the sky. They're not a threat. They're a wonder. A reminder that Earth is not isolated. It's part of a constantly moving, constantly changing cosmic ecosystem. Not all of Earth's companions are temporary. There's one that stays close. For centuries, it's called 469219 Kamo Oalewa, a quasi-satellite of Earth. It doesn't orbit us exactly. It orbits the sun, but its path keeps it near Earth for hundreds of years. It's small, it's stable, and in 2025, China's Tianwen-2 mission will try to bring back a sample, a piece of a companion moon coming home. We've always looked up and thought we knew the sky, but Earth's story is more complicated. It has secrets, visitors, fleeting companions. Some stay for months, some for years, and some we may never see again, but they're real and they remind us that the universe is always moving, always changing, and always full of surprises. Next time you look up, remember, Earth doesn't always dance alone. Subscribe if you love discovering hidden space stories like this. Hit the like button if you learned something new, and let us know in the comments. Did you know Earth had more than one moon?